Hey everyone, Nicholas here from Crypto Attack and welcome back to my channel. And today's video is a bit of an unusual one. I don't usually do this kind of video, um, but I feel like this is an important message to send out to everyone. So for those who follow the tech industry very closely, uh, you all should know that Intel just launched their new Arrow Lake Core Ultra uh, family of CPUs in October 2024. With that comes the topic of should you buy an Intel CPU right now despite the recent troubles Intel faced with its previous 13th and 14th gen uh, uh, family of CPUs. So uh, let's just be clear, the focus on this video will not be on the performance or benchmarks on the new Arrow Lake uh, Core Ultra CPUs. For that, I have several uh, review videos linked in the video de description below and you can go and check them out for the performance data for the new uh, Intel Core Ultra Aero Lake CPUs. So instead, I'll be focusing on whether or not you can trust Intel right now uh, after uh, Intel's uh, fiasco with its previous 13th and 14th gen family of CPUs. And again, just to be clear, this is uh, only my own opinion based on the research uh, data they have gathered uh, throughout uh, different articles and videos about the subject matter. All of them are linked in the description below as well. You can go check them out. Uh, this is only my own opinion. You can have your own. I don't think there's any wrong or right answer to this question. For those people who are unaware of uh, Intel's 13th and 14th gen uh, processor fiasco entire situation, and trust me on that, there are a lot of people out there that are unaware of this situation. I recently had a friend uh, purchase a new PC build, 14th gen uh, uh, Intel CPU uh, build, and I told him about the situation, and he is unaware of it until I told him about it. So yeah, there are still people out there who are, who are unaware of the situation. That is why I'm making this video. So with that in mind, I'm going to go through the entire uh, fiasco th situation with uh, Intel's 13th and 14th gen uh, issues on a very high level. So if you want any details or uh, technical data on the entire subject matter, go, go into the uh, video description below and check out the, all the articles and videos about the subject matter. You have all the details and timelines and the uh, uh, technical data you you need that you can find on all of those articles and videos. So to summarize the entire situation, basically uh, Intel's 13th and 14th gen processors have been crashing due to uh, damage done by overvolting, basically too much voltage being pumped to the CPUs. And the easiest way for me to understand and explain uh, what the exact problem was uh, is that uh, Think of the processor as a light bulb, um, an in the incandescent light bulb. Incandescent light bulb. The processor needs a certain amount of voltage to function properly, and so does a light bulb. It needs a certain uh, amount of voltage to uh, produce light to function as a light bulb. So, what happened was. Uh, as I said earlier, too much voltage is causing uh, the crashes. So let's say the light bulb is rated at 1.5 volts. If you push 5 volts through that light bulb, that light bulb is dead immediately. It pops. It is dead. But that is not what happened to Intel's 13th and 14th gen processors. Instead, what was happening is, uh, imagine pushing uh, just a little bit uh, above the rated voltage. For example, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53. Just a little bit above the rated voltage of that light bulb. So over time, the light bulb does not uh, pop immediately. It will still function. In, in fact, it will produce more light than usual, but at the cost of its lifespan by burning through the filament in the light bulb responsible for the light quicker than, uh, than it is rated for. So basically, this is what happened with Intel's 13th and 14th gen CPUs. Uh, it, requested, it requested more voltage within its lifespan so that it can boost performance, but was uh, quickly killing itself within, 
within the lifespan of a CPU. So with a typical CPU, you can expect at least more than five years of use uh, within the CPU's processor spec. But for uh, Intel's 13th and 14th gen, if you look at the timeline, I'm going to make sure it took only about one year for 13th gen and uh, less for 14th gen to have any, to have any sort of instability issues uh, based on when the processor launched and when the pro uh, reports of crashes became widespread. Just to give you an idea, 13th gen uh, CPUs launched in October 2022 and 14th gen launched in October of 2023 and reports of crashes started in uh, February 2024 so early, early reports of crashes started in 20, uh, February of 2024 and it only got more widespread after that and Intel released new uh, guidelines to try to alleviate stability issues after the reports in April 2024 but are unaware of the root cause of the issue at the time. It was not only until July of 2024 that Intel uh, identified the root cause of the issue and uh, rolled out a solution, a fix basically through a BIOS update. And I'm going to be very clear if you're currently running an Intel 13th or 14th gen CPU no matter if it's a PC or a laptop uh, if you don't do anything about it, uh, it will only be a matter of time before your CPU dies. So I urge you to go to the video description below to read all the articles regarding the situation, watch all the videos around the subject matter to see what you can do, how you can apply the, uh, the BIOS updates to prevent damage to your CPU and possibly uh, get a new CPU replacement for free if your CPU is already damaged due to the uh, issue. So based on all this information that I know, I would still have a little bit of doubts regarding the fix, the solution that Intel rolled out through the BIOS updates for 13th and 14th gen CPUs as it has only been 4 months since uh, Intel rolled out the update through uh, the BIOS updates. In my own opinion, I don't think there's, there's enough time yet to determine the solution rolled out by Intel is uh, fixing the issue down to its core as it took about a year for 13th gen and a little bit less for 14th gen to show up with any kind of instability reports after the CPU launch. But of course, this is my own opinion based on what I know. You may know more than me, so you may you may come to a different conclusion that, than me. That is okay. You can put it down in the comment section down below. Uh, we, we can have a discussion on this subject matter. So after all the trouble Intel went through with this in incident, the trust in the brand is extremely low right now. So basically, if I were to build a PC uh, at this time frame, I will tell myself, no, I would wait. Wait until at least next year. We have a rumor about NVIDIA's uh, new generation 50 series of uh, GPUs graphics card launching early next year, possibly January of next year. This is a rumor by, by the way, but I will at least wait for uh, NVIDIA's new generation of GPUs and graphics card, the 50 series basically launch and then make my decision at that time. As by the time the new NVIDIA 50 series GPUs and graphics card launches, uh, we would have more information and data about Intel CPU at the time to make a more informed decision. But of course, this is my own opinion and viewpoint based on the limited knowledge that I have. What are some of your opinions and viewpoints on the current Intel situation? Did I leave out any vital information regarding this Intel situation that could possibly uh, change my viewpoint on this situation? If so, leave them down in the comment section down below. We can have a discussion there. Uh, this current scenario has certainly sparked an interest, interesting uh, discussion opportunity for us tech enthusiasts. I would love to hear your thoughts and let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching until the end. I hope this video has helped you in some way and if it did, leave a like and subscribe to CryptoTech for more tech content in the future. This is Nicholas 
signing out。ご視聴ありがとうございました。では次の動画でまた会いましょう。じゃあね。